Welcome back, guys. Before we get into the episode, we want to thank our sponsor, Game Time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY. You'll get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code FRIDAY for $20 off. Another quick little shout out to one of the friends of the pod, friends of the family, Rocket Money. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and go to rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. That's rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. Rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. And lastly, but not leastly, thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. Start a free trial at squarespace.com. It's where dreams become websites. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday. You'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain let's get into the episode i have a new segment idea you essentially we pick a race that you really don't like and we just kind of research one. what about a one <laughs> and That's you and we research it and try to like change your mind about them i think it could be fun like a debate show <laughs> yeah yeah that's got legs okay wait uh start uh irish i can start white people Brother this, brother Oh, wait. That. Oh, wait. You can't change my mind. Brother I think we can with some crackers of the week. Do you, should we start off hot? Should we start with crackers of the I week? I would love to. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Some of mine are visual, so if you're driving, I would recommend um, throw it in cruise control and pull out your phone and watch on YouTube. Ooh, I got to find um, one more real quick. Okay, real quick. Can we do a quick meditation for all the listeners? Yes. Having yes. their coffee, having their morning drive. Lead us, lead us. Um. For those of you barreling down the highway at 55 miles an hour right now, someone just looked at their speedometer and went, what the fuck? What the fuck? For those of you driving, go ahead and close your eyes for 45 seconds. Just 45 seconds. And relax your foot. Let it drop down on the pedal. Yeah, press a little harder. Come on. When's the last time you pressed your foot down? Press the pedal to the metal. Liam's pulling up some crackers of the week. Oh, isn't that nice? Can you hear the cars honking at you on the side? Oop, that pregnant lady in the HOV lane. Cut her off. The steering wheel is shaking, vibrating your fingers, and you can start to smell a little bit of smoke coming up in your nostrils. You're not sure you ever want to open your eyes again, let alone... See again. Car is airborne. You're floating. It feels like there's zero gravity as you spin and tossle and turn through the through the lovely spring afternoon skyline. Glass shatters around you. You get curious. It's normal to get curious. That's it's it's a part of the process of meditation. You get curious and you peek one eye open, and there's a man shoved through the windshield. Well, half a man. You grab his hand to try to save him. You think he feels so light. Why does he feel so light? It's only then that you see his legs 60 yards away, hanging off of a tree branch, severed. Fire is building around the car now. It's starting to get so hot. There's condensation on whatever glass is left on these windows. Um, You're running out of breath, but you start to feel more at peace, more at peace than you've ever felt in your life. Why? Why do you feel so happy, so light, so free when you're deprived of that which gives you life? Warm, rushing water hits your back. You feel as if you just found the right temperature in the shower for the water. It's that moment in the shower where you say, this, this is the temperature I will shower in. It's that moment you're feeling, but that's blood. It's blood soaking your clothes and your back, but it's so warm. It's perfectly warm. Your eyes sting. As if you opened your eyes underwater playing Marco Polo and cheating when you were you were a boy. Memories flood back from old barbecues at friends' houses. Friends you don't talk to anymore. People you don't see. Old familiar smells, though. Pickleball. No, no let's... Let's get ready to come back to the world. Go ahead and open your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Now go ahead and take your foot off the gas. You can come back down to 80 miles an hour now. 
75, 70, 65. Put your wow, seatbelt back on. No. Oh, yep. What? <laughs> Put your seatbelt back on. <laughs> Click that in. The beeping has stopped. Go ahead and put your son's seatbelt back on. And you can hang up on your ex-wife. You say, just kidding. You say, I'm sorry, I just had a bad day yesterday. And it was your fault. You made me this way. And like a larva exiting its cocoon, you're something else. You're not, you're not, you're not what you were just. Something else, something greater. And welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast, guys. I hope that started your Thursday, Friday Junior off as well as it could have. I have a lot to talk about today. OpenAI, Sora, Bruno Mars is in the news. Um, the, uh, oh, I was going to list everything because that's what he wants us to do. I forgot everything in my notes. Um, no, that was so good. Yeah, everyone, everyone, our listeners are like, I can't wait to hear their take <laughs> on like, Bruno Mars and I AI. I can't believe how good that was. Dude, I love, oh, I love topics. I love <laughs> current events and topics. That's why I love this podcast, because they talk about the topics that I want to hear about. It's my favorite part of this podcast when they go, you know what happened in the news today? A guy did something. A guy did something big. Yeah, I lost steam. Dude, I, uh, I got I to gotta tell you about my Gaelic football game. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So I, I, uh, I, I am now back. I'm back on the pitch playing Gaelic again. Uh, the pitch. Back on the pitch. What does that mean? Gaelic, Gaelic football. Gaelic football. Sport. Um, How do you even spell that? G. Wait. A. Let's see. Let's see. This is literally what I would think this would be spelled like. Uh, that can't oh, possibly. Wow. That can't possibly be what you thought. Gaelic. Gaelic football. That's literally what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. But- I mean, let's just move on, you know? Let's get to the story. Can we do that? Uh, go on. Ooh, the ball. I thought the ball was more of a rugby ball. Ball is more of a... Volleyball. Yes. It's, it feels exactly like a soccer ball, pretty much, but it looks like a volleyball. I love um, talking shop with you. I love talking ball. But I signned up to play, dude. Yeah. And I... How did you do? Dude, well, I have to... So I signed up months ago, and the game was coming, approaching, approaching, and I was like... Yeah, this is going to be fun. Like, I'm really excited. The day of, dude, I was so nervous. You are, yeah. I was stretching out my apartment. I was like, oh, all the guys are going to make fun of me. All the Irish guys aren't going to think I'm cool. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I suck. Like, holy shit. Uh, so I show up. Everyone's like, what's the crack, lad? And I was like, oh, what the hell is that mean? And they're like, <laughs> what's what's going on? And I was like, oh, not, not much, oh, man. That's awesome. So I, I played from when I was 7 to 14, probably, and... But I haven't played since. I haven't played in 10 years. And I picked it up really quickly. I, I got all the skills back. Like, and it's it's not crazy complex. So I picked up all the rules again pretty fast. But we started doing warm-ups. Also, there's a pod listener that was playing too. He mm-hmm. turned around during warm-ups and was like, what, what the fuck, fuck are you yeah. doing here? And I was like, don't tell anyone what I look like right now. We go through warm-ups, dude. I'm gassed after warm-ups. And I start, mm-hmm. fear starts really creeping in. And my girlfriend was going to come to the game. They start handing out jerseys. I forgot. Like, Gaelic football jerseys are tight. Mm -hmm. So I put mine on. Mm -hmm. I got to show you. I mean, I'll show you one picture of what I look like, dude. It was Spanx. It was Please, crazy. It, it was. It. It. Let me made see. Me, let me see. Pull it up. Are you uh, allowed? Are can you're going to show the listeners? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, sh- I'll send it to you after too. But I'll just show Gus now. Uh, I ran over to my phone. The game's starting. I ran over to my phone and texted my girlfriend, you can't come. Never mind, don't come. <laughs> she was like, what? I'd really like to come. I was like, you can't come, like super abrupt yeah. and just short, like something. And she was like, and then I called her after. I was like, hey, you, I couldn't let you see my body. <laughs> like, She's cracking up. She was like, okay. I, I think she was, she thought something was wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm sucking in in this picture, but. No, oh, you look fine. I Dude, thought you, you were going to no, look you like a. You should have seen me when I was just running, like. Full tilt, running as fast as I can. I could feel my gut pulling on my lower back. I'm familiar with the in, feeling. In the middle of the game, I tried to jump up for a ball, and I was like, I came down, and you know when you jump off a swing and your ankles sting? Mm-hmm. I that I've had that feeling off of a two inch vertical. <laughs> in the middle of the game, what I position was, do you play? I was playing uh, forward. 
I forget the the specifically what. That's correct. But I, essentially, like I, I was playing attack uh, in that. I was in that. I had, dude, I had a couple good plays. I, I lost possession a couple times, but I, I. I'm noticing there's a. Can you look up Gaelic football highlights just so I can get an idea of? So you can run. So that's images. So you can pick up the ball. So you're looking at images. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Binder, you bastard. It's very fun. You would love it, honestly. I bet. Are you going to keep up with it? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the team now. I got to buy cleats and shit. I also was the only motherfucker there. And So you kick it? Yes. See, I, the, I can't kick the ball. No, no, no. But you, you don't kick it like a soccer ball. You punt it. You would be able to do it. But. You, you punt it over the goalpost or you punt it into the net. Yeah, but if you have to punt it into the net, I can't. They're dribbling. Yep. You dribble. This yeah. is sick. So yeah. is this like a combination between basketball, soccer, rugby, and I would say American football too? So you can. This it sounds like this should be the most popular sport in America. It has everything. It's so awesome. It's the perfect white guy sport. Uh, so every oh, you can header. Yep. Every four steps, you have to either bounce the ball or solo it, which is like you kick it off your foot kind of back up to yourself. You can't bounce it twice in a row. So you basically just like bounce it, kick it back up to yourself or just kick it back up to yourself every four steps. Do you think people are counting their steps as they're running? Yeah. It's more of like you can feel it when you're doing it. You know it's time. So that's – that's, that's a solo. and a goal? Yep. Holy shit. That's a free kick. All I'm thinking that while I'm watching this is my back would be fried. It would, dude. My disc – would shoot out like a fat guy putting on a suit and like the button shoots out. Ding! I actually felt like my lungs were going to collapse inside of my body. But it, I think once I get in good shape, I'm going to be pretty good again. Because I was really good actually when I was growing up. You could have been something. I could have been something. You could have been a somebody. And, and then now, I, now look at us. After the game, everyone went over and uh, to the pub across the street owned by an Irish guy from Dublin. Drank free Guinness for like two hours. What like, uh, like what pub? Head. I don't want to. I don't want to leak it. We'll tell me and we'll cut it. Actually, I guess we'll just plug the shout out to Cloverfields. I've never heard of it. It's sick. Cloverfield, the movie. I like the movie. You think there's any relation? I don't know. But it was the greatest, most Irish day of my life. Um, was that's St. Patty's. No, actually, it wasn't the most Irish day of my life, but it was. It was a great day. That's incredible. Yeah. Um. Emily. It is. Emily this weekend watched the first movie of the Batman trilogy, Christopher Nolan. Batman begins with Christian Bale, Maggie Gyllenhaal, right? Mm Mm-hmm. That's Rachel, right? No, no, no. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal is in uh, the next one. The next one, yes. This one is uh, Katie Holmes. Guy A. Arms. They recast Katie Holmes. You like that? That was good. Is she Australian? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, what'd you think? Um. Fuck you. Okay. This is. The thing. I knew it. No, 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 no. I didn't dislike it. I think that I would need to watch it again. She didn't pay. She was on her fucking phone. No, no, no. Time. I listen. I think I need to watch it again after somebody explains to me like the relation between everybody and like. And I know. Wait. Can I stop you? Yeah. First act, second act, third act. What happened in the movie? Just explain Batman Begins to us as if we had never seen it. Okay, you know that I'm going to be terrible at this, and this is going to be really embarrassing. Well, that's Yeah, it's going to be funny. But obviously, <laughs> so Christian Bale, he's like in jail or something. And I don't know what, this is what I mean. Like, I don't really understand what's going on. Just go so as in, best you can. Okay, Good so a, far. This is a white Jewish girl explaining her experience with Batman. That's what this is. Um, he's in jail. He wants to. Oh, she was like Mexican. <laughs> after his parents die, he wants to like save the shit. town of Italians are whatever white. the fuck it's called. What is the city called? Gotham. Mm-hmm. And he basically talks to whatever the fuck Liam Neeson, who says like you need to not have fear in order to like save the right. world. So he decides to become Batman, which is in relation to his fear of bats. Correct. And he tries to save the city of Gotham. That's like essentially the summary. Okay, but so I, okay, uh, uh, fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, who does Killian Murphy play? That is Cillian Murphy. Killian. Who so does- I don't know. I this is what I mean. Like I couldn't follow. So he, I don't know what the, I don't remember his name, but he has that weird mask on. Scarecrow. Scarecrow is he good or bad? Correct. 
bad. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? The Batman. Yes. Why'd you say it like that? Because that's, that's how, how Kelly Murphy it. says it in the movie. He's here. The Batman. He's here. Who? The Batman. Were you on your phone at all? No. Hondo P. No. I just, if you couldn't. If someone sent me a text, I would respond, but I put it right down. Okay. How does it end? Well, first it's this explosion, and then and then obvious, and then Rachel is like, you know, who are you? And he repeats her quote. Yeah. <laughs> and I sound so annoying right now. I would. You don't sound. A, you face. don't sound annoying. I'm just. I'm just getting. I'm, I'm getting trying to shy. figure. Out, I'm still trying to figure out if you watched it or not. Um, and then Liam Neeson like is there, and they, he doesn't kill him, but he falls on the train because he doesn't. He does kill him. Well, he, the train kills him, but he was like, no, I'm no. not going to kill you, Batman I'm not going to save kill. you. Batman doesn't kill. Yeah, but... Yeah, Batman doesn't kill. I don't have to save you either. Yeah, that's that's exactly what he sounds like. Are you going to watch the second one? Yeah, but I need to rewatch. Or does it is it like the same scenario, or is it like a continuation? It's a continuation. It's a trilogy. Can, I just need somebody to explain it, because there was too many of these like, what are your questions? evil guys. What are your questions? Okay, so like that old man who was evil that they were like beating up who went to jail, like who is that and... Who and Cillian, Killian Murphy? Like, can you explain the relation between all these men? Killian Murphy. Do they, plays, so they all work for who? Maroney. Uh, wait, they all don't work for the shadow. The what is it? The Legion of Shadows. What's the Legion of Shadows? That's what Raz Al Ghul. That's, yeah, that's Liam Neeson's crew. And what is that? Uh, ninja assassins, pretty much. That. They they are, think of them as like they are. Like a vigilante crew. It's like an ancient society that's overthrown governments going back thousands of years. They kind of just like launch coups in cities and take over different places. They've been doing it forever. And so how does Batman end up like meeting them in the beginning? Because he goes on a journey to Tibet. He's tra he's soul searching. Oh, right, right, right. I remember that. He's gone from Gotham for seven years trying to learn self-defense techniques and shit. And he just happens to meet them. He finds them. They teach him his ways, but he won't kill. He has but, to take them out. Yeah, he he th they they go too far. Yeah, so he's like you okay. guys you guys are in the right direction. It's too far. So he he they have fundamental disagreement. You know, so Gary, if he was killing, he would be on their side. Is what kind of what that? Uh, to some extent, yes. But Killian Murphy plays Scarecrow, who was a uh, a college professor, uh, who got fired, uh, was working as a you know, doctor-ish type person at Arkham Asylum on the patients, started experimenting. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, and created this fear toxin that if you inhale it, you just kind of trip and visually see the scariest shit in the world possible. And it makes you, like, lose your mind. So what's the difference between... So the Scarecrow's a villain who's working for the essential mob of gotham where raz al ghul and the legion or the league of shadows and what about wayne enterprises people wayne enterprises people that's Separate? its own thing and then the mob and the scarecrow and then raz al ghul and the league of Sh legion of shadows whatever. this is where i struggled like it's three different like things I understand, yeah i just this is where i struggled with figuring out who's who you could tell who was like evil and who wasn't but like the relation between them all and like it was really that was hard for me to follow i will say that is one of christopher nolan's I, w I don't know if I would say weakness, but that can be annoying about his movies, where he just, if there's plot, sometimes he'll just overload it in dialogue. Mm. Did you know Gary Oldman was originally asked to audition for Scarecrow, mm. but didn't want to do another villain? What was he a villain in? I think he's been a villain in a bunch of other shit. Well, well what was, okay, interesting. I don't know specifically what, but I think he was like, I'd rather be the good guy if I could. And they were like, cool, come out for Jim Gordon. I have other questions. Yes, please. This is my frustration with these types of movies. I think that this one was better than what my, like, original assumption would be. But the part that bothers me is, like, half of it does kind of seem realistic. Like, the people and the social life or whatever. But then it then it, when it turns to, like, him becoming Batman, he's so close to these people in the face that he already, like, knows... How do they not fucking know who he is? It's fucking like you could tell by his facial features under the mask. Yeah, there is a little bit. That's like, what pisses me the fuck off. And then where, like, all of a sudden, Killian Murphy like just has this mask and, and it just has all these powers, and it's like where the well, fuck the mask, did it come the from? The mask doesn't have powers. 
Well, when he puts it on, it's wearing the, this evil. No, he, yes, the gas. It's he the did gas. It. He's a doctor. He created this. So why is he wearing the mask? Because that's a gas mask, pretty much. For yeah. Himself. Oh, okay. It protects him from it, and then he. It's also it also scares people. And who gives him the right to create that? No, nope, nobody. That's why they. That's why Batman. And like, is what, like, like what makes him? And yeah, he's a terrorist. He's a that's another terrorist. thing. Is the Batman has the thing that you know flies, shoots him up into the air. Grappling. Where? Hook. What's it? What's it holding on to? Buildings. He's a no bu- because then he starts like flying through the air and he, with a, with the thing. But where is it attaching to? He's a billionaire with tech that we don't even know about. So you kind of have to like okay. just be like okay. the other guy must be a billionaire too. With the who? Potions. No, no, he's just an evil genius. Kelly Murphy's an evil genius who was very smart. Was a uh, professor and like a scientist that just went rogue and started becoming a. He's been, he's an evil scientist. To a also, extent. I love that you're calling it a potion. I don't know why. Yeah. I now I wish the movie it was a Talk potion. Him. He made him drink out of like a big like, like I'm picturing like a Legend of Zelda like big red glowing potion. That's so funny. It's I, just like I, how the I, fuck did Rachel not know that was him? Because uh, chicks a, are dumb. Yeah, she's a chick. <laughs> you know it's funny. I wrote a scarecrow line for the sixty minutes guy, who, guy who uh, smokes weed and doesn't get scared. So Chet's like. Every time I smoke weed, I convince myself I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're putting in dab carts these days, but I took one rip before work today, and you would have thought I inhaled the Scarecrow's fear toxin. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Um, oh, this I think I do. Now I need to watch it again. Unless there's... You could you could go right into... The next one. Yeah. Okay. The next one's the best one. Yeah. And oh, the third, the third that one... That was the best. Supposed to be the best. No. The next it, one's one of the best movies ever made. Yes, because you've heard of Heath Ledger's Joker. Yes, it's like the, one of the best. It's considered one oh, of the that best was character. Kind of the ending of the ba- Batman yeah, had to the, do with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, leave his card out. Calling himself the Joker. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that movie is incredible. That one's easier to follow too. I would say. Yes. Because it's 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 one v one pretty much. It's one v one. He's more of a. I don't want to say anything. You're gonna love it. If and, anything, you just have to appreciate like. Like, you've seen Heath Ledger movies, right? Go look up interviews with him. Because when I first watched it, I didn't know who he was. And when I listened to interviews of him, I was like, how's this guy the Joker? This fucking British dude. How is he the Joker? I thought he was Australian. Or Australian, whatever. He has a, it's a white accent, so I just assume. Yeah, yeah. You know me. He, uh, I remember when this, when it came out, my aunt like this old Irish lady from Brooklyn. It's old like, bitch. She, my older cousins want to go. She was like, they can't go see this movie. It's demonic. Demons made this movie to try yeah. to, and he I was like, what the away. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he, uh, he overdosed. What's his after, after the movie came out. Or no, right before the movie came out. I think right, right uh, after? Right, one of the two. I think it was after, actually. And it was really annoying. Everyone was like, the role killed him. And then everyone who worked on the movie was like, no, it didn't. He was doing pills for like six years in a row. Speaking of the, you're saying, your aunt was saying it's too demonic. One of my best friends from high school, his mom found in his bedroom, in his nightstand, one of the Harry Potter books. And she started crying because it was sacrilegious and uh, (sighs) demonic. What's their relationship like now? Pretty good. Really? Yeah. Because that's something I, that's something so annoying. Where someone's that delusional, you know, even if it's your mom, someone who's existing in their own realm of re- like just fucking bullshit reality, I'd be like, <sighs> "She's a fantastic lady. She really is. Just but super she's religious. Just, like, dumb as shit. No, she's not dumb. She's just religious. No, but that's like there's religious and then there's dumb. I know. I'm, I'm. I grew up around them. I know. I, Everyone around me was religious. I nut job or we had an old teacher at our school that would get mad at us when we would talk about Harry Potter or anything. I remember being like, how are you? And she was smart. But I was like, how are you this dumb? How are you dumber than you are smart? If that makes sense. No, I had, I had some of those uh, teaching me. I had some of those teaching me how to live my life. And look how it, like it turned out. <laughs> um, is there anything worse than waking up hungover? I'm hungover and- right now. I know you are, buddy. It's a Monday. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything worse than waking up hungover and you go, you get the strength to go get your keys and go to McDonald's. And when you open the front door, there's a cold bag of McDonald's you Uber Eats the night before. Uh, that happened today? Happened <sighs> recently. 
Did you get? Were you on the sauce this weekend? Mm-mm. You didn't uh, drink it all this weekend. St. Patty's Day weekend? No. I just read my novels, dude. Read two hundred fifty pages of Mistborn and and finished it. Oh, dude. Yeah. Do you ever go outside? Yeah, Who I read outside, outside in my hammock. Do you really? Yeah, pussy. That's I do drive by walks. You do? Oh, uh, I thought it was just the ocean mist. No, that's Splash, me. That's me. Splashing in my hair. I love the. I love rubbing it through my hair. I waddle with my pants around my ankles, three and a half full streets, over to your house with my butt cheeks clenched and my thumb on the top of my hard cock, just when I get to your friends go, and I barely get like a drop on you, <laughs> and I go home and I start again and I come back. Sorry, sorry guys. Uh, sorry please for, clip that. Sorry for saying that. <laughs> Please clip that. What was I going to say? What did I get? Oh, dude, I another comic book haul when I was in Tempe, Arizona. Shout mm-hmm. out to all the great pod fans I met in Tempe. Uh, I went to a co- went to Ash Comics, and oh boy, I I just asked the comic book guy working there. I said, "Hey, what's the weirdest thing that you give to like top level guys that come in here? Mm. What's the what's the weird thing that you don't even have? Show out? me the vault. Show me the vault." And he goes, "Okay, okay," and then he talks to his other coworker about it, and he goes, oh, you should get him the Invisibles. And he goes, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty crazy. And I was like, get me the Invisibles. <laughs> he goes to the back, and he brings it out, and I can't wait to start reading it, dude. How much was it? How I don't many, even, I even how check the tag anymore, bro. I don't even check the tag anymore, bro. When I'm at, Colors, when, colors guap game is nuts. When, it's, when I go to Barnes & Noble's, dude, I don't even check the tag. Dude, bro's like, put it on my tab. I wanted to cop it. Fuck yeah. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your lifestyle's insane, bro. Oh, Fuck yeah. me up the ass. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my God. Bros, bros, uh, I'm trying to think of one. Hey, remember when we were at Comic Con? That guy showed us a first edition Batman. <sighs> first one ever printed. Oh, sick. It was like we were we had like a uh, million dollars in front of us. Literally. All I was thinking, I was like, I could knock this guy out, take this, and get out of here. Easily. He he probably had a guy with him with a weapon. You think? That's, I bet he. I bet money. he travels with a bodyguard if he's mm. carrying around like a million dollar comic book. That was so insane. I got to hold it. We held the first ever Batman comic book ever made. I can't remember if I held it or not. I asked. I was like, "Can I put this in my hands?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? You had something. I saw this fire in your eyes that I, I rarely got, see anymore. I got the next two copies of Blue Book so of what the comic book I gave. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. I need to read it still. So once I yeah, sorry, I was reading Mistborn. Oh, I'm reading my high fantasy. Uh, Blah. Uh, um, I when I went to uh, the Tempe Improv, so many great pot fans out there. Thanks for coming. Uh, but the feature comedian uh, is this guy. Shout out Short Bus Steve. That is an awesome name. Yes, he's he's a disabled man, and he was in mm-hmm. a wheelchair and walked in. He said, "Hey man, what's up? I'm uh, Short Bus Steve." And I was like, "Oh hey Steve, how's it going?" He was like, "Call me Short Bus." And I was like, "All right." And then five minutes later, I was like, "Hey Steve, can I get by?" He's like, "Dude, just call me Short Bus, seriously." And I was like, "Oh man." <laughs> So I did. I started calling him short bus. That's like a... And I, I went on stage after him and I said, what's up? It's, wait, wait, it's is regular it... bus Liam. And it, it just murdered, dude. I tore the fucking roof off that bitch with that one. I think I saw this guy in your story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Did you want to do Cracker of the Week? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, thought yeah, we, we should we? do that at the beginning. Well, we got too excited talking about All right. our lives, Batman. Batman. Please I, did, I feel like you guys shared stories about your life and I didn't share anything about mine. You don't have anything going on ever. Yeah, you don't go You don't outside. do anything, dude. That's why your girlfriend's eventually going to break up with you. She can't stand this boring lifestyle. <laughs> she can't live off the breadcrumbs you're giving her. Why not? Dude, what does she think about your lifestyle? <laughs> well, she loves. She loves the breadcrumbs. She loves. She loves. She loves. Uh, she sits in her little room and I, I lock it. I come back eight hours later. I unlock. I say, "Do you have a good day?" She says, "Well," and I say, "Sorry, I gotta go." <laughs> Tell me tomorrow. And I just rinse and repeat. You have this big skeleton key on this old leather little string. It's made out of human bone. It's made out of her bone. Oh, is it her rib? I took her her radial bone out. Holy shit, where's that? What? Where's the radial bone? It's uh, on a keychain around my waist. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. What did you do with her femurs? You did something with her femurs so she couldn't move as fast? No, I just she can't like, move at all. I tied them so they couldn't grow anymore. She kind of looks like a, like a paralyzed dog if she had to move around, you know? I gave her it's one like, of those little wheelbarrows. That she like puts her waist on and she can crawl on her legs. <laughs> Dude, she loves it. <laughs> um, I don't do anything, but to be fair, 
To be fair, I've only not done anything since like December. That's a long time, brother. That is. A long we'll be. We've been busy this year. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna start doing stuff again now. I gotta fucking. Run We're up. finally at a point. I mean, if you realized, you and I have been full on sprint from January first to literally last week when we finished season one of YouTube. Yeah. Now it's time to relax. What well, video's coming out this week? Or would it just come out? Fringe, Fringe guy. Are they cutting my pregnancy? No. Yes. We put it back in. Thank Thank fucking Lord. Lord. What? Thank I think it came out oh. yesterday. Okay. Taking a quick break to talk to you about our sponsor. This episode's brought to you by Squarespace, okay? Guys, you need an online presence to fully take advantage of the marketplace, and Squarespace is going to help you do that. Now, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Believe it or not, Almost Friday uses Squarespace to build their website, and uh, you could say we're doing pretty hot right now. You could say we're doing pretty good, all thanks to our friend Squarespace. It's got next-generation website design. Okay, it's never been easier to unlock unbreakable creativity. Well, we use it to sell custom merch. Obviously, that's been a big part of our business. Squarespace has helped us unlock the online stores. Fantastic. And it's a great place to host video content, organize video libraries, showcase content. Get online. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain let's get back into the episode anyway anyways anywho cracker of the week but yeah it's uh i haven't seen it but tyler was saying it's like zone of interest and i think that's a good thing i'm happy with it i'm curious because there's people that don't know what french guy is and i people are gonna there's a for youtube yeah no i was gonna say i don't even think you have to though no that's what i'm saying is it, it just adds another layer if you do like, it's so much better if you know. Yeah. But I'm very curious what people are going to say that don't know what it is. I'm happy with it, though. Let's see if she did it. Cracker of the week. Mind blowing. <laughs> Mind blowing. She says she's going to do it, but. Cracker of the week. I'm gonna ask again next week. I okay. And, and then and it's you know in what? There. Check the last and you know episode. What? And you know what? I'm gonna ask again the week after. Check the episode. It's in there. All right. Who's up, bro? Who's up first? Gus. Um. Okay. Gus, because Liam won last week. Our first non-white cracker of the week. <laughs> Bruno Mars owes 50 million in gambling debt. Awesome. I think you deserve cracker of the week if you're that deep in the hole. I wonder what he's playing. Or do you think this is like? I bet it's also huge. You know, he's boys. probably he's probably playing the Big Bang Theory slot machine. Probably, probably. He he probably has one in his house. Prescott's kind of the, the casino. Probably they wheeled it in. Probably, probably we're like bring bring it out. You know what? You know what? They probably put it in his house. They probably been like, it's fine. You don't have to pay us back. <laughs> well, probably apparently it makes one point five million a night doing this thing. So it's hilarious that being fifty million. In debt to a casino, he can just be like, all right, I'll just perform this year for free and we'll call it even. And they're like, that's hilarious. Yeah. And honestly, they're probably like, look, can you just pay back like 30 million? He's like, cool. So I'll just do like 20 shows this year. And they're like, cool. Oh, well, he has a amazing. deal with the casino where he makes 90 million, but he owes more than he. Am I? I'm in a simulation, right? I'm in a trick you're, show. You're in the zone of I'm in solitude. It. Nobody can hear you. I'm, I'm being tricked. Yes. So I, So someone's tricking me. So I'm being tricked. You guys are on the same page because you did say that you're, you had to reverb and post, and you didn't hear that either. But now you're out here talking about shit that. No, you I heard said. it in the. I heard it in the edit. Oh, I want to. I want to hear. I was hear, reading while you were talking. Emily, I'm just. Get, hey, I'm giving you S H I T, girl. <laughs> you know you one of my pals. <laughs> you fucking crazy bitch. Uh, I L Y crazy biatch. Crazy honky. You crazy honky. Crazy boy. honky. Um, Bruno Mars. Uh, what a uh, what a sickening disease he has. That's got to be one of the worst addictions to have, man. Oof. Gambling? It is. But if family. you use code BEERS, you can get $250 <laughs> on your first bet. <laughs> All right, Liam. I want to be a billionaire. So freaking bad. Buy all of the things I never Okay, Liam. Liam Culler. What the fuck? I want to be a billionaire. So fucking bad. Slap some oil on my mom and dad. 
cook them alive and eat their organs. Okay, let's do mine. Let's do mine. Pull up the Slack chan. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is awesome. It's the funniest thing I've ever. I, seen. I'm wondering who this is for. Her. No, I know, but like, does she really think? She can control people's perception of her at this point. Whoa, 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 let's watch it. I haven't seen it. Taking my hair out like this, it reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. That crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and Crazy little girl. (laughs) 16 running up the block. Crazy little girl who's wild and full of dreams and shit. It's like... Man, wow, that's dude! That's du- double, double, that's, that's double sucks. non-Caucasian cracker of the week. Yeah, I know. Right off the bat, I mean that's that's the whitest thing I've ever seen. Honestly, that no, sucks. even whiter than Obama is a Obama is a. Is that a bad word? Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. I actually don't even know what it means. It's a bad word. Italians love throwing it around. Okay, that's all I need to know. Yep, T- Italians, bes- uh, the most racist people on the planet. Uh, yeah. Besides. I think Japanese and Chinese people hate each other more than a single race hates. Japanese, historically, they're incredibly racist. Uh, We should recreate that video, that JLo video with with me with King of the Jays. Mm. Okay, Uh, scroll up. I thought I sent this video to you, Liam. Can you do another? I gotta send this to him. Yeah. Um, please pull up the last one I said. Are you, you Chinese? No, I'm Vietnamese. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm black Vietnamese. <laughs> 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 See y'all later, man. Are you, you Chinese? No, I'm Vietnamese. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm black Vietnamese. <laughs> 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 See y'all later, man. Are you Chinese? I'm black Chinese. All right, see y'all later, man. <laughs> it's the funniest video I've ever seen. I don't know what's happening. The way, the way he just goes, all right, see y'all later, man. You need to mix in a white cracker of the week. I have got plenty more whites in here. All right, Emily, go to uh this one's horrific. We're gonna watch the whole thing. Okay, I'll describe it for the listeners. Where the fuck is the drink? <laughs> it's a it's an old man with jorts pulled up to his nipples in a McDonald's screaming at a guy making seven dollars an hour. What's taking so long? Jesus fucking Christ! No, I just want the drinks. Okay, skip in a little. It's pissing me off. Come on. We paid our. Undiagnosed autism. <laughs> How, see, when I send you shit like this, you go, oh, that's fucked up. That's sad. And yeah, you no. Bring, I, you bring this bullshit to me? No, I'm very sad right now. <sighs> You've sent me worse than that, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the, the, my, this is like a, this is a flare-up. You send me full-on, like, in the dregs, in the trenches, like, no way out. Yeah, dude. Like, this guy clearly survived. Dude, my buddy sent me a video of fucking two homeless people fucking during the St. Patty's Day Parade in Boston. Can I see it? Yeah, you want to see it? Yeah. Sure. I'm going to send Emily another video. It sucks. Like, it's not fun to watch. Nobody's, like, you're not going to be horny. Oh, this one's great. It's okay. not really even Cracker of the Week. Okay. I think you'll get a kick out of it. I just try to freaking make one fun thing for me to do on my Instagram, and you all are telling me to try fentanyl. You think I'm that stupid? I wasn't born yesterday. But you were. Y'all are freaking slandering me over here. It's not everybody, but there's two specific people that I'm going to call out, and I am going to leak their accounts <laughs> if they don't stop. They're being dicks. Dicks. Y'all might be saying, zing zing, that's not very family friendly. I don't care. Daddy's got a headache. Who is this? Uh, no idea. I had a bunch of little, little funny crackers on my, my feed this week. This might be another funny cracker. Oh, this one's tough. I don't know if I... I can't remember if I showed this or not. Pastor, pastor, please. I'm only nine. You're 52. And I thought you didn't believe the gays do the Christian do. Listen, listen, listen. I swear this won't take you off. If you think this is right, then I'm fine with being wrong. Pastor, pastor, please. I'm only nine. You're 52. 
That's why. Oh, do you have another? Uh, yeah, I got one more. Is the one you just said? Yeah. This guy deserves Cracker of the Week. Oh! This guy tries to harpoon a shark. Uh, shark goes and uh, tries to rip his belly open. I wish they fucking he gutted him. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Why you just shot a shark with a harpoon. Dumbass. Dumbass. You're Cracker of the Week in my book. Yeah. Um... Liam, you got any more? No. Nah, okay, so we have to vote. Who... Yeah, who won? Who's should, we, should we just let the audience vote? It feels kind of cheap that we vote, right? Let's let's let the audience vote this week. Okay, audience votes. Our little uh, bugs. Little bugs vote. Audience votes. Pastor, pastor, please. I'm only nine. You're, you're 52. 52. See, that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Gross. <laughs> Why do you want this guy to die? You got to check out his page. Okay. It's, it's the most cringe shit ever. I'm, Trust me, I'm it's good, awful. I'm good. Well, it, it, clearly something happened to him that made him the way he is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a question. I had a little hypothetical for you I was thinking of. Okay. Can I do one more cracker? Yes, yes. Emily, scroll all the way up. Another cracker of the week. This is Elvis's doctor. This is Elvis's prescription before he died. Quaalude. These are all, to my knowledge, benzos, uppers. So benzos, amphetamines, and uh, something else. Painkillers. Look at that, dude. This is, is this monthly? Dilu- di- Dilaudid, uh, 54 milligram tablets, Quaaludes, f- 150, 300 milligram tablets, Dexedine, 105 milligram tablets, Percodin, 100 tablets, just of whatever milligram, I guess, Amitol, 103 gram caps, 12 half gram, what is that? Bifetamine, 120 milligram that he must, he must have felt awesome. I well, I'm wondering. He got paid for that. I wonder how how he felt sober. The worst. Probably feels like you and I do all the time. Yeah, sober. Like that feels so much. That style of living feels so good. It's and, not sustainable. But Andy's one of the most famous guys of all time. At yeah. the time. Oh my god, dude. So, Doctor Doctor George Nicopolis, you're my cracker of the week. Hey, hey, look, hey! It looks like uh, uh, it looks like buy. It looks like buying this prescription. <laughs> <laughs> you got a serious drug problem, girl. Yeah, you really are a bad person in the way <laughs> the way you treat yourself. Uh, you should be shamed. Taking a quick break to talk to you about Rocket Money. This is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I use Rocket Money to find out I've been paying for RuneScape for the last uh, 15 years. So thank you, Rocket Money, for saving me uh, saving me some time. I wish I could have that time back. and. Get back into Glenor, but alas, I cannot. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. And this thing's free? That's insane. No, seriously, it's a great way to just cancel stuff you didn't realize you were paying for. There's probably a lot of apps on your phone you had subscriptions to that are still running, um, streaming services you don't use anymore. I mean, the list goes on. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions going to rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. That's rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. Rocketmoney.com slash almost Friday. Let's get back into the episode. All right, what's you have a hypothetical question for me? Yeah, so so you had to be a criminal. Mm-hmm. Probably pedophile. For money. I know that yeah. was your initial answer, yeah. but for money. Yeah. Uh, and you had to, you know, be a, a career criminal. What would your crime be? I was thinking about it. I was thinking on this. Whoa. Honestly, probably stealing um, feminine products and selling them for pennies on the dollar back to women. Oh, you're perfect. Oh, God. Not, yeah. sorry, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. Or probably like, probably like paying for people's abortions. That's probably the, what I, the crime I would be doing is paying for people's abortions and paying for feminine care products. 
That or I'd find every single mother's apartment in my zip code and I would um, probably cut the catalytic converter off their cars. Sell them to junkyards. One or the other. Did I get it right? Yeah, yeah, that's a great answer. <laughs> What's yours? I'd scam uh, little rich kids on the internet into like giving me, like kids that are like rich kids that are trying to buy you know new pairs of Jordans and shit. I just dab pins too. All that shit. I'd I just locate the IPs of little rich fake kids. fake IDs. All I used to shit. scam people on the internet. You did how? Yeah, I used to play this game. You'd sell them poop. You'd sell them a cake you farted in, and you'd eat, and they'd eat it on camera, and you didn't even fart in the cake. Oh, Real, yeah. 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 Real funny. They know that you didn't fart in it. They can taste it. <laughs> um, we no. can go buy that cake at Ralph's. We know what it tastes like. You think we don't eat a test cake before? We have a we have a, the the control cake and then the fart cake. Control cake is based is we can just see everything. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I used to play this game, like, like similar to Sims, but you play with, like, real people on the internet. Second Life? Something like that. And I, like, you have coins and stuff, and you can use real money to buy coins or, like, cash on there. And I used to, like, trick people into sending me their, their money on the game. How? I would... Pictures. You know, pictures of like trade a fart cake for fart cake again. How many? If you had to like, I know you can't put an actual number on it, but <laughs> estimate how many fart cakes you've ever mailed. Probably like probably probably right. like seven. Pro- seven probably yeah. seven probably seven. Do you what count- size are they? Like the size of like those cake boss cakes? Or are they like normal? Probably store-like? like a big birthday cake. <laughs> probably probably a big one. Do so you know when you like you open up a DoorDash and there's like. Just some extra food in there that you didn't order. You're like, oh, fuck yeah. I feel like that's how guys opened up Emily's uh, fart cakes when there's a little bit of shit on them. <laughs> and just like a splatter of diarrhea. <laughs> this sucks. You, yeah. you did this. Thing. No, I didn't. You walked us down would the street. Sell, would you sell your poop to like someone right. that you had to ship it to for thousands of dollars? No. How much would it take for you to mail your poop in a Ziploc? What are they doing with it? Do, you don't know. Uh, Two million dollars. I can I tell a scamming story? What about you? Uh, probably, uh probably, half a, for like half a mil. Probably half a mil. Probably. Probably. I actually feel guilty about this to this day, and I think about it sometimes. But I was huge into RuneScape when I was a kid. Like everyone in my grade, Shocking. everyone in my grade, play, I know, <laughs> everyone in my grade played it. My older sister and her friends played it. Like, it was just like, I can't explain it, but it was like playing Club Penguin. Yeah, everyone, like, all my friends played RuneScape. Yeah, everyone did it. That's basically what this game was that I was scamming for. No. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> shut that down. <laughs> um, this kid was like, do you want to help me, like, scam someone? And I was like, that sounds awesome. My heart was racing the whole time. <laughs> my heart was racing. Penis was shriveled up. And I was like, mode. I was like, he told me the plan and i was like it's so fucking genius the plan it's the dumbest thing i've ever heard he goes into the like one of the main lobbies and he's like hi i'm recording a youtube video giveaway i'm quitting and giving away my all everything i own on my account and he grabs two random people me and someone else and so he goes here's how the game works you trade me your most valuable thing, and if you trust me, I trade it back. And whoever trades me the That's most... That's exactly what I did, Will. That's <laughs> really? Exactly. And they say, like, you trade you trade me the most expensive thing you have, and I trade it back. And eventually the guy gives the most expensive piece of equipment he has, and we both log out and split it. And I actually still feel guilty to this day, like, you know, 15, 20 years later. Wow. What did you get? Do you remember what the thing was? More money than I had ever seen in RuneScape. It, for those that used to play, it was a Bandos chess plate when, in, uh, in like 2000, 2005 or 2007, somewhere around. 2007. Damn, dude. It was, I'm a bad, I was a bad guy for doing that. I'm trying to think if I've ever scanned anyone. This is what, so now that you've explained yours, you'll, this will make more sense. So on the game, it's like people. And so there were people on there that like dress as babies and they like, they'll, they'll make these like, you can make like events. You can have like 
parties and stuff, and people would make an event like, I want a mommy, and like you're dressed as a baby. <laughs> oh my God. But then, so, so then people would make events like, I need a baby. And so people would come in, and I would have an accomplice. And like, they'd be like, okay, I'll, I'll be your mom, like, I'll spoil you, but you, we have to do a trust test. Like, in order for me to continue spoiling you, you have to send me something and I'll send it back. Um, and that's just a trust test so that I can trust you being my, like, kid. And then I would do that and, like, obviously just take whatever they have. So the person ah, – that's – there's a whole another <laughs> sad layer to that. I know. Because, like, like, people on there pretending Spoiling my mommy. <laughs> so look, I want a mommy who spoils. And then you – You realize that okay, guy was it. 60 and every time he was – Chatting with you is the hardest he's ever been in his life. I'm sure. <sighs> I was so young, I didn't know any better. You know, I was thinking about... But sorry if I scammed you. This isn't a scam or a video game thing. I was just thinking about guilt. And I was thinking about guilt like on St. Patrick's Day. And I remembered uh, when I got a BB gun. I It wasn't on St. Patrick's Day, but my grandmother's house has a statue of Jesus and then St. Patrick in like the garden area. And I got a BB gun and I remember... Uh, I was really mad that I had to go to church. Oh, no. So I grabbed my BB gun, and I just went out to the yard, and I just started shooting Jesus and St. Patrick in the face <gasps> with the BB gun. And, uh, like, I remember I chipped off St. Patrick's nose. I got, like, some part of Jesus' face <laughs> God, off. God, you were like a movie character rat kid. And I remembered that recently when I was at my grandma's house. I looked at, like, because they're still out there, and I was like, Oh yeah, I just like shot these for like an hour all day, and I felt really good about it. And then I, at night when I was going to bed, I thought, "Oh fuck, oh fuck, I'm going to hell." And I went out in the middle of the night and I apologized to the statues. <laughs> Whoa, that's so crazy! I could. So what a grip that Christian guilt has on us. I got on my knees in front of two pieces of. You got on your knees? Ah, uh, yeah. Good man, man, oh man! I, had, I so must scary. repent for my sins. Dude, if your grandma ever found out you did that, she'd be so fucking mad, dude. She might have uh, died because she would think, "Oh my god, my 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 grandson is going to hell. Mm-hmm. I won't see him in the afterlife." Mm-hmm. <sighs> I told you, I last time I was hanging out with her, it was just me and her, and I had like three IPAs and hit my dad pen and talked about the afterworld for an hour. Just went went through all my little conspiracy theories about shit. Yeah. Pretty much sold her on there definitely being an afterlife, though. Do you think if you gave her the dab pin, if she hit the dab pin, would she no longer believe in God? It would It would be exactly like what I said earlier. It would be like as if, if I hit her with the scarecrow for your talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just standing over. I was like, hello. She, ah! she tried to try <laughs> she kill me with a knife. Finds out you're the devil. Yeah. She would actually think I'm the devil. Oh, I watched that movie Dream Scenario. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, ooh. Did you watch it? No, not yet. What do you think? It's okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's 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 not that good. But there's a scene. Great premise. Can I spoil? Sure. Just a scene where like a guy breaks into his house and he's schizophrenic and he's like, "I have to kill you. I think I have to kill you." Because he keeps seeing him in his dreams. So that's what made me think of that. It's uh, uh, the first half is great, and then the movie kind of just like loses its self. Should we do characters? Yeah, let's do characters and get out Can of here. Can I pee first? Yeah. You have to, are you, she's going to pee into a cake. She's like, oh, you shit, I pee forgot I cake. told this guy I was going to send him a pee cake. Fuck, dude, I have to pee on the outside of Clementine and mail it to a guy. I've got a character today. I like your, your old character. 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 You gotta put that in. <laughs> just to let everyone know you're you're stimming. I just pulled this off my hat. Put him on the sign. He's a little bug. Yes. Emily, look at this little bug. I just found this little spider man. No, put him on the sign. Yeah, he's yeah, hanging yeah. out with us. Yeah. It's so gross. Now he's on the team. Look at him go. Look oh, him go. dude. That's disgusting. It's like Batman grappling That's down. Not disgusting. It's our fan base. Look, he's about to go on the beer. Oh, he, he's like, is it five o'clock yet, please? Yeah, get down there. <laughs> is yeah. it five yet? There he goes. He goes. That's Landed, awesome. Dude. That's sick. How do they know to do that? He's got a fucked up leg. I just realized uh, my my little necklace was on backwards the whole time, so it looked like I have a choker on. Let me see. And 
I fixed it, but it was like this, and I, dude, I didn't know. Uh oh, get, get some... wasn't... Oh shit! Oh no! Now there's gonna be crazy fan out of me, and Liam. Oh no! Now there's gonna be fan out of me and Liam, like hooking up and kissing and spitting in each other's Fuck. mouths. Oh. Fuck! Oh no! I hope there's not fan out of Liam and I cuddling and just not even having sex, but just falling in love in bed and like oh. reading. I'm reading. There's a candle lit. Oh no, hell no. I hope there's no fan out of us both both wearing the same like mermaid suit outfit and our legs are stuffed into the mermaid suit outfit and we're swinging we're swimming in the ocean. No. With one set no, of legs. that's so gross. I hope oh no, I hope there's not one of me and you falling asleep in the bathtub and we're laughing about it after cuz the water got cold and that's what woke us up cuz we were in there so long. Uh, no, because you choke it. I hope there's nothing that like that. There's just like I said, like a jacuzzi on a snowy night, you know, outside and snowing, but we're so warm in the jacuzzi. No, fuck. Now there's going to be fan art of you being all anxious about how you look at our wedding. And I come in right before and you go, it's bad luck to see me. And I go, I don't care. I want to see you. And you're worried about your suit. And I tell you, hey, we can tell everyone to leave. It can just be you and me. I'm not doing it for them. I'm not doing it for how you look. I'm doing it to marry you. And I'm like sitting there and I'm like, oh, fuck. I hope there's not fan out of me comforting you on our fucking wedding. Fuck. I don't think I can top that one. All right. <laughs> oh, I forgot we have to do characters. Let's do characters. I forgot we have to do them. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's where we're at. That's where we're at. I forget one. Yeah, this one's really short. That's okay. We love a quick hitter. I'm Dr. Laurel. I'm your therapist. And you're talking about a coworker that really doesn't like you. Yeah, I just feel like uh, she ignores me. And when I am trying to say something, she kind of mm-hmm. talks over me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like she goes out of her way to talk shit about me and other people. So, may I? Yeah. I'm noticing that you talk a lot about your perception of these people. And perception is interesting because that can really frame how we, uh, how we have a relationship with these people in our lives. For example, I was walking to work this morning. Homeless guy asked me for money. I don't care. You know why? Because I perceive him as trash. I perceive him as litter. I don't perceive him as a human being, right? Or, for example, I have a patient that uh, he's complaining about his dead mommy the whole time. (laughs) I don't care. I perceive him as a paycheck. I perceive him as a subhuman that uh, helps me buy a house in Monaco, right? Does that make sense, how our perception kind of frames It makes sense. It's just really fucked up what you just said. So your perception of me is that I have a fucked up view. Am I getting that right? That you're like a bad person is what it sounds like. Right. So that's that's kind of the core of the issue I want to talk about is perception. So what should I perceive my coworker, Diane, as? Litter, um, litter and trash? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. See, now that's where a lot of my patients get confused is I'm not telling you how to feel. I'm here to help guide you through those emotions. What do you perceive me as? I perceive you as $100 an hour. I don't think this is helping me at all. Let me put it this way. My wife's parents just died. Okay. Sorry to hear that. What? Sorry to hear that. Oh, you don't have to do that. That's kind of weird. Okay. No, I get the sentiment. It's just like you're apologizing. I'm sorry for your loss. But like, what? you don't have anything to do with it. I know. It's just something you say when someone is going I know. It's just really annoying and it's fucking dis... Sorry. It's really annoying and it's disingenuous. Don't do that. Don't do that to people. You do that to your coworker. You you apologize a lot. You know what? They probably perceive you as a jellyfish like I do. I perceive you as someone that's going to be in here for a few more years before you kill yourself. I perceive you as someone that's going to kill himself. And guess what? I perceive you as somebody whose opinion doesn't matter. I perceive because, you. I perceive, because I perceive, I perceive you, you as, as a, somebody whose opinion doesn't matter because you haven't lived enough life because you're a little pipsqueak nerd. I perceive you as a, an orangutan looking fuck. Your arms are. You're a creep. Long. That's yeah. what your mom said, right? Oh, really? You're a creep? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Your daughter's on OnlyFans, right? That's, I perceived you as a dad whose daughter grew up to be on OnlyFans. Your daughter shows her pussy lips for money. She does. That's awesome, dude. You yeah, did a su- great job. I support her because I perceive her as a strong woman. Okay, cool. I perceive her as a whore. 
Sick. This is great. Thanks for the hour, dude. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Here's your money. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that was it. <laughs> I thought we were going to fuck. I thought we were getting so riled up. We we're going to fuck. I like doing the bad therapist characters. They're fun. They are very fun. Guys, let's take a pause from this insanely hilarious, goofy episode to talk to you about game time. Why is it so frustrating to buy tickets? Why does it feel like I'm getting ripped off everywhere I go? Why does it cost an arm and a leg to go to the game? Well, that's what is crazy. It doesn't. If you use game time, okay, you can get last minute tickets, flash deals at a fair price, at the best price in the game. And it's easy to find the tickets too. It's easy to figure out, you know, like uh, uh, what local venues are hosting what shows, lowest price guaranteed, event cancellation protection, and job loss protection, etc. They got it all. You can see where your seats are in the venue. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y, for $20 off your first purchase. That is code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y, for $20 off your first purchase. Okay, download Game Time app. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Let's get back into the episode, shall we, Emily? Okay, I have a character. Can I go? Yep. <laughs> Liam's so mad now because Emily just, he just did his character and Emily forgot to freaking record. No, the memory card ran out. Yes. All right, let's do it. All right. My you guys is... are getting one less character this week, but it's not my fault. No. No, you're doing it because it was really funny. It was improv. That's the only reason it was funny. I can't uh, do it again. You can't. Okay, go. My name is Bill Blunkle. Where's that smile, Liam? Where's that smile? Liam, you're my boss. Good. Your name's Kevin Apple. You can find your own way to be in it if you want. You can be like my coworker who's in a meeting with my boss. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm not. That made me so angry that I want to throw up. <laughs> yeah, that was rude. Sorry. <laughs> Imagine if I said that to you every you single time. Find your way to character. get <laughs> Find a way to ruin Squeeze it. Squeeze in where you see fit if you can. All no, right. genuinely. All right. I show up late to work for like the tenth time in a row, um, and you're. You know, you're telling me how unprofessional it is. Oh, hey, boss. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you're sorry. It's you know. been, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are yeah, we talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fucking Bill over here has been late 30 times this month. You're late every fucking day. You think that's funny? You think that's something to come in here man, and be smiling about? Man, my uh, my wife scratching. needed a back scratch. I don't know what I'm going to tell you. Your wife needed a back scratch? That's yeah, why you're fucking late? She said she was going to divorce me if I didn't give it to her. I don't give a fuck about that shit, dude. That's personal stuff. Come to work on time. I pay you to be here at 9. Be here at 9. Be here <laughs> at 8.45. Let's talk, let's talk to the intern. Fucker did not have to fill the fucking coffee up. <laughs> you're the worst. Why don't you show up on time, all right? All right, all right, all right. All right, you know what? I'm sorry. Scratch I'm... that telly. <laughs> scratch your fucking tongue. You want to work here? Lift it up. Lift it up and scratch. Lift it up and scratch. I want to see your hairs. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking fired. No, 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 no. I have something to make up for it. I swear. I swear. I'm sure you guys will be okay with these. Can we... We're, you brought we're in good donuts. now? You brought in donuts? What kind yeah, of donuts? Yeah, yeah, Take them. Open them up. Take them. Open them up. Take them. Open them up. Take them. Open them up, and then I'll take them. Take them. It's a surprise. Surprise. We've got all different types of flavors in there. I hope you like the flavors. The donuts. Don't. You're going to get the frosting everywhere. Doesn't sound like donuts. Well, then... They're scallops. They're oysters. They're oysters. You gave me she sea clams, clams from the sea. You don't like them? No. Where'd you get these? Why are these in the Dunkin' Donuts box? You think these are donuts? They're oysters. I ate the donuts. So you put, you put, this is a fucking oyster. Yeah. Eat it. I'm allergic. I want. To, I, don't, I know. <laughs> I can't eat it. Or you're fired. I'm worried. Just touch you might want to eat those before sauce. I'm smell allergic to shellfish. I can't touch it to your face once. I can't. Just, I'm not asking. You might want to. If, if, if you make me touch that to, to your face, there's two lawsuits where this company's gonna be dealing with now, or three technically. 
You might want to eat those before you start to smell up the office. Yeah, Tommy, the intern. This is a nice move. Mm-hmm. It is a lawsuit, Tommy. What's Emily's character's name? Apparently, Bill. Apparently, Bill's easy. I'm sorry. I was going to ruin your character. I'm not going to. You already fucking did. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Gave me fucking scouts. Sorry. They smell. I'm actually allergic. I'm allergic. Are you actually? Mm-hmm. Oh, so that wasn't a joke. Oh, I had it. Yeah. I was about to touch your face. I would have. I would have. You're allergic to oysters? Mm-hmm. They're so good. Shellfish. You eat a lot of oysters, don't you? I eat. I like to grill oysters. When you sweat, it feels like like that's what I smell. Um, Ew. <laughs> shout out to. The- Do you have a character? Let's try the the handshake one. Okay. Uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a David Montgomery, mm-hmm. and uh, you're- the running back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and you're uh, you're Patch of Queen, okay. Dude, really nice meeting you. Dude, absolutely. Oh, oh. <sighs> ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me just. The fuck's wrong? You're jerking with me you? around like I'm an asshole. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Just shit my pants. <laughs> That's so. Did you just shit your pants too? No. You squeezed my hand really fucking hard though. Why'd you do that? I got nervous. Thought we were going to do it forever. Thought I was like going to die or drown or something. I felt like I couldn't breathe or something. Then I shit my pants. Well, you probably never should do that to another guy, probably. <sighs> Fuck, it's wet. You shit yourself? I really did. All right, well, I'm going to go. Try it. All right, good to see you, man. Time out. I'm going to go for an open handshake. No fist bump, okay? <laughs> Got it? Cool. I'm going to press the webbing in between my index finger and my thumb into yours. And we're going to shake, okay? Cool. Don't go for a fist bump. Cool. Okay? Let's close our eyes and make it harder. Nope. (laughs) Okay. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Okay. Let go. So wet. Why is it wet? Probably, Probably shit yourself. Probably check with <laughs> you can't in, you can't do that. What are you trying to do? Lift off your shirt. What? Lift off your shirt. <laughs> are you doing mind control? It doesn't work, but I'll I'll humor you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. How many characters do you think we've ended with you just going? <laughs> like seven. Um, all right. No, I just, can't believe uh, you ruined my character, Will. Dude, he didn't. Your character's great. No, I did. I, I Nobody chim- laughed at the oysters. Well, to be fair, my, I chimed in way before the oysters. I spent money on them. Maybe some folks at home will laugh. Expense the oysters, though. Yeah, expensive. I. You can also cut around my interjection. No. Well, we have to cut it because I said the. It gave me a good reason to talk to the fish man at the farmer's market. He's hot. <sighs> you make me so. sick. You make me sick to my damn stomach. Oh, I have, I have one we could try out. I'm uh, all set. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this is one where you just scream. Oh. You're uh, serious? All right. What's the setup? Uh, I'm introducing you to Emily, and I say that you're a bit of an old soul. And then you scream, the prophecy says you will die tomorrow. Like you just do weird old, like, like you're like an old witch. I feel like you would crush it. <laughs> no, you have to do it. <sighs> you would crush that well. All right, let's do it. But you're doing it. Would, do you want to be the witch? No. Oh, I can't pull that off. You could just try your best to get as weird as fuck. Come Why on. I ain't putting that on camera. Come on, man. All right. All right, set it up. All right. Uh, no one cares about me. They want it to be you. Come on, Emily. People care about you. 
You gotta try as hard as you can well, right can here. Can I just look up what things which said? No, which is- no. You gotta try to do a really crazy witch voice and say crazy magic stuff that's yeah. gonna happen to me. How I'm gonna die? Yeah. Or how I'm gonna save the world? Cannot do that. As well, well, then you we'll can, cut. We'll can, cut it. If, we'll can. cut it. You if, can do this. We'll I'll cut. try it, but we are cutting it if I don't. Cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Give you hundred. I don't. I can't even think of one thing. Though. Like, well, you, you just, will on the spot. Just if you want to. I can to, make just, noises. Yeah, just start screaming like a witch. That's okay. fine too. Uh, all right, you're Dolores uh, uh, Silver, and you're uh, Krups. Krups. F- Krups. F- and <laughs> I am introducing you to my friend. Let's uh, let me restart. Dolores. Let me restart. Uh, you're Dolores, f- and you're Mike, Mike, Mike Bone. I like Krups. You're Krups, f- and you're Mike Bone. I thought uh, it was Dolores. You're Dolores. F- you're Mike Bone. I thought it was Krups. F- Don't do it again. You're Dolores, <laughs> you're Mike Bone. I'm I'm introducing you to uh, okay. my friend. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. She's she'll be here any second. Uh, she, uh, just like a heads up, she's a bit of a an old soul. Okay, when you cool. Meet her. She's just like uh, like an old school bathroom. Oh, here she is. Oh, hey, cool. hey. This is uh, Dolores. This is Mike. Hey, I'm Mike. Hi, what? <laughs> What'd you say, Dolores? What? What, Dolores? <laughs> you want to skin your potions and I will leave you. Dolores, she's a bit of an old soul. <laughs> is, she she kinda... have, is she having a seizure? Nah, she's like an old soul. She kind of says, Give me your blood. She's it's, she's a bit of an old soul. What does that mean? You will stir it into pot. She's like 2,000 years old. She's like, <laughs> she's like oh, you meant literally like she's her like soul is. Drink this potion. If oh, you will. Don't, 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 don't. He doesn't want the potion, Dolores. She it's sounds chill. like a crow. Yeah, yeah. She sounds like a crow. Don't drink that, dude. Getting stepped on. Ah, uh, fuck. I feel like it'd be rude if I didn't. What's in here? Yeah. Well, you will find out. <laughs> Dolores, what's, Dolores, what's in the what's in the potion? Come on, seriously. what's in the potion? We don't tell him. We don't trust him yet. She QB sneaks like all my friends. She puts Xanax in their beers. And Is this she, like, Xanax? Drags them upstairs, yeah. She's essayed like five of my boys. Don't right, spill essential. my secrets. This just tastes like piss. Is it piss? This tastes like birthday cake with piss in it. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, she does that. She <laughs> them. Why are you making that face, Dolores? Are you all right, Terrell? Do, there you do, go. Do you ban? I just, I didn't drink enough water this morning. <laughs> yeah, I know that game. And time. I had a little bit too much broccoli. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we can end. That was great. <laughs> Emily, that was great work. That was some Emily, of your that's your work. best. That was your best work. Yeah. If you, can, if you can put an old timey filter on your face and make yourself look like a witch, that's gonna. That's I gonna cannot bang. believe that's gonna be public. I can. That was hilarious. Yeah, it was great. It's great job. All right, let's. I'll I get, sounded I'll get like. Uh, I don't even know. You sounded like a crazy witch. Thanks. <laughs> I'll get this last one. What do witches hard. say? I don't even I'll know. Do mm-hmm. We can leave. All right. Um. Wait, I had another. I'll just save it for next week, though. Uh, we're friends. Your name is uh, Glycerin, and I'm. Um, uh, uh, I despise you. And I'm. I'm, I'm the. I'm the web. I'm a spider web. You're. You're actually a spider web. I'm a, just a spider web. Okay. But uh, we're hanging out. I'm in my vape. You want to hit it? Hey. Can I hit that? Sure. Was it mango? Yeah. Dude, don't even ask next time. Of course, just like rip it whenever you want, man. Oh, cool. Seriously, like whenever you want. Just like, thanks, man. Literally, next time, just like tap me and be like, "Oh, okay." Just yeah. be like, "No, you know, like, should be a look." You, like, if you even if you just like look at me, like, all right, just, we'll try, we'll try it out. See, or even if you can't even if you're not close enough to tap me, just look at me like this, like, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, we'll do. Okay. Okay.
<laughs> Here, take it back. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, I got it. I got it. Yeah, so take it back. Either tap me or just look at me like that. Like okay. Do you remember your dreams? Yeah. All right. I'm... Is there anything you've been dreaming about recently? Just work. Oh. What? What? Why? Oh, I don't even remember. You have you having crazy dreams? Whatever. What? Have you you ever had weird dreams? It feels like you want to tell me a dream you had. You don't have to ask for my dream. You can just tell me your dream. I just you know you know you know, like no no. You know, I'm not in, like any of your dreams or anything. Are you in my dreams? No. Okay. Am I in your dreams? Fuck no. Okay. Fuck no. Are you sure? Because it feels like I am in your dreams and you were hoping that I would be in your dreams. Or that you would be in my dreams. Spiderweb? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I feel like... I feel like I told you I don't dream about you and your mood kind of flipped and I'm wondering if those two things are related. I dream about you sometimes. You dream about me? Like how? <laughs> how do you dream about me? We're on like horses and we're like riding around on horses. We're riding around on horses? On the same horse? Or you're on a white horse and I'm on a black horse. Like cowboys, it's like I thought for a second maybe you had dreams where we were both cowboys too, but like <laughs> you had a dream we're both cowboys I, every night. Is it like we're we're friends? Yeah, platonic. <laughs> you know, I mean, I I don't really remember my dreams that well. So maybe maybe I have dreamt. Maybe you were my dreams. I don't know. It's okay. No, I, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, no it's hey, it's okay. No, it's it's really totally possible you could have been in one of my dreams. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh, you know what? I did have a dream with you in it. Yeah. So, what, nothing. We were, and we were cowboys and you were on a white horse and I was on a black horse? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Feels like there was a horse on me. It just got taken off. When I told you the, so can I ask you a question? When your mood flipped earlier, it was because I, you weren't in my dreams. I was just like that. Like moment was just like, gut punch, you know. And sorry, you good? It's just like gut punch. Yeah, I get that. Well, good thing is you were in my dream, so. Yeah, we were cowboys and shit. And, yes. Did you give my vape back to me? Yeah, I did. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Are you positive? I'm positive because I gave it back to you, and I remembered I don't ever want to have to give you that look. It's not worth the vape, so I haven't asked for it back since. Oh, is that it in your pocket right there? Yeah, do you want to rip it? No. Do I have to do the look if I want to rip it? I could scratch your nose if it's itchy. You don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> I'm all good. If you're, ever, if you're ever itchy, just let me know, dog. Just give you a look. Yeah, just look. If you're ever itchy, just look at me and be like. <laughs> if you're ever itchy at all, just look at me like from across the room and go. Or just like call me. If you're ever itchy, just like call me and be like. And I'll come over and scratch it up. All right. What's going on tonight? What are we going to do tonight? What probably go we, home. Probably go home. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do tonight when we go back to your apartment? What We're not we going to my place. I'm going home. We should start a band or something. 
call ourselves like the Ravens. Like not like the football team. Maybe we call ourselves like uh uh like uh the Banshee men. Thanks, bro. No problem. <laughs> Alright, that's Oh, that was loud. That's a wrap on the episode, Ra- guys. Racist dog fucking asshole. Bitch. You're a racist dog fucking asshole fucking. I child. really don't know if I could put that witch noise on Dude, the dude, it's good stuff. It was very me. funny in my Dude, you're being yourself. It's good. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. I don't know how this was, but... I really don't either. It didn't feel good. No, I think there's some moments there. I didn't think it was a good episode. Well, we'll come firing back next week. Mm, I won't. Uh This is my last... This is going to sound weird. This is my last day on Earth. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? It's my last day on Earth. It's just weird knowing that, like... It's weird knowing that like a German shepherd's gonna have to find pieces of me in the woods. <laughs> it's weird to know. In like 60, that's how they're gonna find me. Like, They'll piece me together like I'm a jigsaw puzzle. Sixty years from now, a, a eight year old boy in Louisiana is German shepherd. Is German? They're gonna be running in the woods looking for big sticks, and then the German shepherd's gonna come back with my femur bone. And then it, and then it's, and then it's just gonna cut to a title sequence. That's my life. <laughs> it's gonna be a guy, it's gonna be a guy doing a show. I'm an episode on this TV show. My whole life is just it ends at is all just so I can be the bones in the beginning of a of a How I Met Your Mother episode re- remake. My my whole my whole freaking life is an episode of uh, Fringe. What's that show? Bones Fringe. No, f- f- for f- friends. Friends. Wait, I'm a bone. Wait, I'm one bone, but I'm in a TV show. All right, guys. I think uh, you know. Next week we're just going to break down episodes of The Office. So, yeah. I think, I think uh, starting next week, starting next, w- starting next week, me and Liam are going to uh, go back and watch the first episode of the pod, and each week <laughs> <laughs> review episodes of the pod. So go rewatch those. We're going to review our own episodes like a like a snake eating itself. <laughs> and, <laughs> and eventually, when we catch up. <laughs> We're going to start doing two episodes a week.